Well, howdy folks. Welcome to the channel where it's all about racing. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at two Brago Ferrari SF21s in 143 scale. Now, the internal name for the SF21 was Project 673, and it was a Formula One race car designed and developed by Scuderia Ferrari for the 2021 Formula One Championship. The cars would feature a Ferrari 1.6 liter direct injection turbocharged V6 that also featured a Ferrari Kinetic Thermal Energy Recovery System with a 4 megajoule lithium ion battery. Now in 2021, the car would compete in 22 races with zero wins, five podiums, and two poles. And believe it or not, this was a significant improvement over their disastrous 2020 campaign. Nevertheless, Ferrari would end the season winless again. The first time since 1992 and 1993 for two consecutive winless seasons. Now, the drivers for this campaign in the number 16 car that you hear, see here in front was Charles Leclerc, a Frenchman, a Mona Gasque, if I got that correct, who over his career would have six wins and 35 podiums. And the number 55 car was that of Carlos Sainz Jr., a Spaniard, who has three wins and 23 podiums to his name. Now, these cars, I think, are the bottom line of the Barago series. They're present like this with this cardboard box with this cheap plastic cover. This is not an acrylic jewel cover. There is no base included with this as the base is part of the packaging, which is cardboard. And the car is mounted on a slant like this. It does have a nice look of the drivers in the background of it, as you can see right there, where you have Carlos Sainz and Charles Leclerc. The sides are covered, say Formula Racing, and the back of it shows previews of the 124 and the 118 scale cars that they also make as part of the Burago collection. Now, you notice in the corner, this has Ferrari licensing and its official Ferrari product. Burago is one of only two manufacturers that offer products in this scale for the Formula One Season. And that is both Brago and Look Smart. Now, I suspect if you collect cars and you're familiar with Brago, you usually consider Brago to be the cheapest line of cars available on the market. And that is the case. However, the fact that they're inexpensive or cheap does not mean that they look terrible. These cars are actually relatively nice, particularly for the fact that, as you may recall from my first video on the Red Bull cars, I got these online for $35 with free shipping. Six cars, two Ferraris, two Mercedes, and two Red Bulls. Each car uh, paired with their respective drivers. In this case, Carlos Sainz and Charles Leclerc for the Ferraris. And I purchased them from a company called Lynn's Discount on eBay, which you can look them up. Just look up Barago Ferrari in 143 scale and you'll find them. And they are still available today as what I purchased a few weeks ago. Now, as I mentioned, these cars are not bad. They are kind of toy-like as they do roll. They feature rubber wheels. And they have aluminum axles. And, you know, the bottoms of them look like this. Now, bear in mind, guys, I do not normally remove cars from their bases. Most of the cars I collect have fragile parts that are subject to braking, and I have broken several over the years. There's not much to break on these cars. They're pretty much foolproof. Now, these cars do feature a pitot tube up here on the nose that you can see right there. It's that little part you see right there. Uh, and that's made of rubber, and it's really not that easy to break. You, you know, it would be harder if it were a spark or something like that. So these cars are fairly sturdy. They are more play toys than they are collector's items, but they, are, as I mentioned, they are very, very nicely done. The finish looks sharp. They do a really good job the driver's helmets, but if you take a look at the cockpit, I'm going to roll this around to get a little better look at it. It almost looks like you've got a stick man made by a six-year-old with a steering wheel that's just black and pretty much void of details. Otherwise, the car looks pretty sharp, and I'll roll it around so you can take a look at it from this angle. I mean, it's really, really good, particularly by Barago standards. However, it is lacking in significant details. Things like aerials, abundant carbon fiber trim, the rear of a car that shows the running lights and the rain lights and a silver tipped exhaust. You have none of that on the Virago. You do have rubber wheels and 
a metal and plastic body that are fairly sturdy, that look good, but just not spectacular. And when I mean not spectacular, I mean this is not a Spark or a Mini Champ. It is a Burago. Now that being said, if you want a Ferrari in 143 scale, Look Smart and Burago are your only options. At this time, I do not have any F1 Ferraris by Look Smart. I do have several Ferrari 488s and 458s made by Look Smart and 143 scale, but not at this time. So if you want to collect these and you don't have 125 bucks to spend on a Look Smart car for 10 to 20 dollars, you can get these, and they are a good car for the buck. Thanks for watching. See you next time.